NASA scientists right here in Hampton Roads are contributing to the project to return humans to the moon. It's called Artemis. Much of that engineering is being done at NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton. And all new at 5, our chief meteorologist Jeff Edmondson talked to local scientists about their work. Behind me is the wind tunnel, and they're testing a scale model of NASA's SLS rocket inside here, understanding how the aerodynamic forces will affect the rocket. NASA's Space Launch System rocket is built to bring us back to the moon and has been testing for nearly a decade. Next Monday at 8.33 a.m. from Cape Canaveral, Artemis 1, an uncrewed rocket will blast off testing what scientists have learned here in the transonic wind tunnel at Langley. Aerodynamics are important on a, on a rocket, on a launch vehicle. Uh, stick your hand out the window of your car at 70 miles an hour. There's a, a very large aerodynamic force that pushes your hand back. You could imagine sticking your hand out of the Orion space capsule uh, at seven, eight, nine hundred miles an hour. Forces are enormous. These forces push and pull and bend and break and vibrate the rocket on its way to orbit, on its way to 17,500 miles an hour, which is orbital velocity. As the rocket ascends into the atmosphere, all of the aerodynamic forces happens in just two minutes. After that, the rocket begins to leave Earth's atmosphere and heads into orbit. The team of 20 here at Langley is currently testing Artemis IV, an even larger rocket capable of sending bigger payloads to the moon. The model inside the tunnel is only 3% of the size of the normally 364-foot tall rocket. We do that with wind tunnels. We do that with computational fluid dynamics supercomputers that are modeling the aerodynamic equations of motions of the tiny fluid particles uh, digitally. Inside the model are hundreds of microphones using those that can find possible problem areas in the rocket during the different phases of launch. 49 and a half seconds into flight we hit Mach 0.9 um, and at that point we are uh, undergoing the maximum transonic buffet environments. At that point, the rocket has seen the most stress as the high speeds can send shock waves around the vehicle, causing it to shake and bend. The launch on Monday will also teach the team valuable information. Post flight, analyze all that data and compare it to the wind tunnel test data and ensure that the vehicle is well understood and safe to fly our crew uh, on Artemis II. While the testing continues in the wind tunnel for Artemis IV, we can look at the aerodynamic forces and where the spots are that they're most focused on as this vehicle gets ready to launch in the coming years. Here at NASA Langley, I'm Jeff Edmondson, 10 on your side.